riding aren't the only winter recreation activities the town of Killington has to offer. This winter, for the first time in several years, ice skating returned to Summit Pond, offering tourists and locals alike another fun outdoor activity. Skating on Summit Pond began in the early 1980s, six years before the current building adjacent to the pond was built. Christmas week of 1980, Bill Bauer of the Summit Lodge recalls no snow and guests threatening to go back home because there wasn't anything to do in the ski town. That's when Summit Pond became the focal point of activity. And um, it was um, the morning of New Year's Day, after New Year's Eve. We woke up first thing that morning, and he and I drove to Newburgh, New York, and we picked up about 60 or 70 pairs of brand new skates, Bauer skates, hockey skates and figure skates. Hockey skates for the guys, figure skates for the ladies. And we had a full hotel, and everybody knew that we were going down to get those, those ice skates. It was about a four-hour drive and then the time to get the, the skates and load them up and then come back. And when we arrived here at the Summit Lodge, we had dozens of people in the lobby waiting for those ice skates. And we, we literally took them from the, the trunk of the car and brought them into the lobby, opened up the boxes, and people took those skates and um, went down to the pond. And that's really when skating started down on the Summit Pond. When new ownership took over the pond and adjacent restaurant this fall, the new owners were determined to make skating a prime recreation destination once again. Bill Bauer couldn't be more excited. Oh, it's exciting. It's exciting. I think that there is a pent-up demand for it. Um, yeah, I think it's great. Glad to see it. It took several months to get the ice rink and the skating shack to where it is today. Since September, folks have been working to get the rink and shack back up to par. Through the fall, we were painting up the shack getting the shack back and uh, staining it and getting all the, all the squirrels out and evicting some other critters and making sure that it was up to par. And then once the snow started falling, stuff started freezing, we tested out the ice, drilled some holes and get it all going. And then I think uh, about in the middle of January was the first time we opened it up, maybe January 20th actually, something like that. We had the first kids out here skating and it was a good first day. And from then on, it's been, you know, gotten some good promotion and people have been coming out and skating. So it's been, uh, it's been pretty good since then. As long as the weather cooperates, we get a good freeze. Got some nice equipment. So yeah, since January, I think, is when we started up. Since January, the ice has had skaters, young and old, testing out the surface. Just last Wednesday, local kids with the Killington Recreation Department spent the afternoon on the ice. Skating is open Thursday through Sunday from 3 in the afternoon until 9 p.m. There's also a broomball league Tuesday night. 